Usually, when we think of Tokyo, we see bustling crowds, skyscrapers, and neon lit streets. However, there is a side of Tokyo City that is the complete opposite of that picture. A subtropical secret that is just a stone's throw away from the heart of the metropolis. Welcome to the islands of Tokyo! Going south from Tokyo and into the Pacific Ocean, you can find many islands of all sizes. Each island deserves a video of its own, so in this video we will focus on the island of Hachijojima. Hachijojima is located about 280 kilometers away from Tokyo, where about 7,500 people live on approximately 60 square kilometers. You can get there by plane, flying 45 minutes from Haneda Airport or by boat, taking an overnight ferry for 11 hours from the Takeshiba Pier in Tokyo. The warm ocean current called Kuroshio originates from the equator and brings a subtropical climate to Hachijojima. Compared to Tokyo, the island is blessed with warmer temperature in the winter and cooler in the summer. The humid weather also allows for lush and abundant vegetation to bloom all year round. Hachijojima, like the other Tokyo islands, was formed along the Mariana Trench. So you can find many volcanoes including Hachijo Fuji, which last erupted in 1605. The lava flow from several eruptions created a bed of volcanic rocks around Hachijo Fuji. This makes the surrounding area look like another planet. Volcanic activity also means that there are many hot springs on those islands. Oh, you here? Well, I love Japanese hot springs, but there is one thing that I love even more, and that is the beautiful people who will click on the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, let me tell you something very interesting about the history of Hachijojima. Until 1881, Hachijojima was used by the Japanese government as an open-air prison for political convicts. Among them was Ukita Hideie, a famous and powerful feudal lord at the time. He was sentenced to exile on Hachijojima, where he eventually died without seeing his wife ever again. To commemorate this tragic event, statues of Ukita Hideie and his wife, united for eternity, can now be found on the island, facing the stretch of the ocean that separated them. Time has passed since those days, and things have changed in Hachijojima. However, the weight of history and traditions can still be felt on the island people. One example is the Hachijo Taiko drum, Legend has it that when taken away their swords, the outcast samurai picked up the drumsticks and used taiko as a means of martial art, recreation and artistic expression. Compared to other forms of taiko in Japan, hachijo taiko is a two-person, one taiko style of drumming and the beat is mostly improvised. Also worth mentioning is the Kihachijo kimono fabric. Here the fabric is 100% handwoven. We visited Yamashita Yu from the Kihachijo Meyukobo. The silk fabric is dipped into a decoction of plants and the bark of the trees from the island. The color is fixed in the mordant of the ashes of camellia and sakaki tree. The threads are then squeezed and dried in the sun. This process is repeated 
until the three traditional colors are obtained – yellow, brown and black. Homare Yamashita showed us an engine technique with a loom smaller in size. The tension on the threads is adjusted by moving the waist. It surely is more time consuming, but it results in a more flexible fabric. When visiting the island, you will notice beautiful walls made with stones collected from the seashore. They are here to protect the folk houses called kominka. These are built of natural materials that can be reused and recycled. Wood, clay, tatami and bamboo. To adapt to the local climate, they are built on an elevated floor with few walls and a high ceiling. I went to visit Miki, who has been running a cafe in one of these kominka for more than 16 years. I wonder what is so good about such an old house. But surely there must be some disadvantages. <laughs> what is your recommended menu? Is it easy for you to live away from the big city? <laughs> I had never heard about Ashtaba before. It turns out that it's one of the most famous plants on the islands of Tokyo. I went to visit Mr. Nishino Naoki, who owns a plantation, to know more about it. Mr. Nishino, what is so good about Ashtaba? この切り口から出ている黄色い、え、シルですけども、これはカルコンというえ、成分で、え、明日場しか組んでいない特殊な成分です。What how does it taste? How do you prepare ashtaba? まあ、お水に溶いて飲んでもいいし、お湯に溶いて溶かして飲んでもいいし、牛乳に溶かしてもいいです。それとあと、まあ、ヨーグルトとかですね。あの、乳製品に相性がいいので、そういった食べ方も
まあちょっと地球の変化って黒潮だろうね流れが変わってちょっとこの取るものが変わったような気がしてこの56年ね How does one become a fisherman? なかなかね厳しい仕事なんでやっぱり頑張ってやる人は一握りしか<笑>いないけどやっぱりね一回はチャレンジしてもしあれがあればチャレンジしてほしいなと思うねやっぱり。What is your favorite way to eat fish? いやー、それなん、いろんなのあるからね、でも、一つは言えないね。あったら教えるけど、<笑>でもし持ってたらね、これはこうやって食べなとかは言えるんだけど、一概にくくりではちょっと言えないね。いろんな食べ方があるからね、<笑>難しいな。<笑> I heard that the must eat fish on the island is called kusaya. Kusaya comes from the word kusai, which literally means stinky. So I got one of them, and I must say, it really smells bad. However, the taste was surprisingly mild, and I loved it. I needed to know more about how the fish is prepared. For that, I went to meet with Mr. Osada. Mr. Osada, please tell me, which fish do you use to make kusaya? Ah, eh, Hachijoji Mugwa, eh, Tobi Oto, Sorekara Mugwaji. Where is Kusaya made? Oshima, Nijima, Hachijojima. Now, I'm going to make this one. How is Kusaya made? The Motomoto Nijima is made of Shiomisu. I'm going to make this one. 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 What is the point of making a fish smelly like this? えっと昔やっぱり冷蔵庫とかなかったものですから、えー、いかにこの塩を使って保存するかっていうことがやっぱり大きなテーマだったと思います。But it really stinks. 臭いですね。<笑>ただあのー、この香りもあのー、島によってあとお店に八丈島でもお店によっても違います。臭いあのー、大島新島よりも八丈の方が匂いは少ないです。でただ八丈島の中でもお店によって匂いの強弱があります。Thank you very much for staying until the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it made you want to visit Hachi Jojima someday. Let us know what you think about this video in the comments. Finally, if you'd like to support us, you can visit our online shop where you can find the Tokyo Island souvenir box. Link in the description below.